Hi, I'm Jamie, and today I will be introducing Leela. She was a warrior of the Savage Seventeen tribe who crash landed from Earth onto a different planet in the far future. She was the companion of the Fourth Doctor's era, running from 1977 to 1978. Leela appears in a total of nine stories and 40 episodes. And she takes place in season 14 with her first episode being The Face of Evil. And then after that, it's the Robots of Death. And then we're on to the Talons of Wing Chang. And then for season 15, we're on to the Horror of Fang Rock. And then the Invisible Enemy. After that, it's the Image of Fendel. And then the Sunmakers. Underworlds. And her last episode being the Invasion of Time. Leela also has a special appearance in the Dimensions in Time. And it's pretty much the equivalent of a 30th anniversary for Dr. Yu. And it's pretty interesting. Uh, it's kind of hard to come by. It's hard to find, too. You can watch it on YouTube, unless someone's taking it down. Otherwise, um, good luck. <laughs> so in her first episode, The Face of Evil, the doctor ends up coming across Leela, who believes him to be an evil god of her people. The tribe that she comes from, the Seventeen tribe, are superstitious people and they believe this doctor to be an evil person. So the doctor ends up going through trials that they put him through and, and all that good fun stuff. And Leela comes to realize that, oh, it's all fake. We're being tricked by someone. Yay. Uh, so eventually at the end of the episode, the doctor wins and Leela ends up just going on an adventure with him and becoming his companion. And um, she proves to be the most violent companion in Doctor Who. <laughs> because of the way her personality was, she ended up clashing with the Doctor at times, too. The Doctor didn't like her violent ways, and that's just how she was. Uh, so in one episode, he tries to make her a sophisticated lady. Doesn't work out, because it's not who she is. And, um... She ends up saving his life on numerous times, too. But overall, to describe Leela's personality, she is a true warrior. And she's also a loyal person, a good friend. But she's not afraid to fight. Leela whoops a mask. Yeah! And she does it in skimpy leather, too. You dads know, out there, know what I'm talking about out there. Yeah, you do. It's like kicking ass in Doctor Who. LOL! LOL! Leela also appears in numerous Big Finish audios. One of the ones she's most known for being in Gallifrey, with Romana 2, and so many other characters. She became Romana 2's bodyguard, and as an added perk, the Time Lords let her keep her youthful appearance for an unnaturally long time. Her last episode, The Invasions in Time, uh, is pretty interesting. I haven't seen it yet, but I do know what happens in it. And Leela actually ends up marrying a Time Lord. Shh. Yes. And his name's Andred. And he's one of the High Chancellery Guard. And that's pretty much how she ends up leaving the doctor is because of love she fell in love with one of his own people and was like yeah i'm staying here in gallifrey to marry this guy peace and 
from there, that's pretty much it. She's referenced in Fifth Doctor Era and so on, but that's pretty much it. So yeah. Now, as for the rest of Leela's life after the Doctor, it can get a pretty much complicated from there. Um, because there's many different possibilities from the audios to comic books to novels. And uh, I will list some of the possibilities, but not all of them, because it's too broad and too much detail to get into. Uh, but in one of them, she ends up becoming involved in a civil war and ends up blinded. And uh, pretty much what ends up happening is her husband, Andra, dies. And yeah, she ends up killing him from what I've heard, and it's not that great. <laughs> so that's one possibility of how her life could have gone. But that's in the audio zone. Um, she also takes place in the Time War, but that's a whole entire different possibility too. And she has also all these other alternate universes, paradoxes, and stuff like that. So, as for life after the Doctor, she's got a pretty lengthy, complicated one. Now we're on to some Leela trivia. And, as always, it contains interesting information. So, Leela was given her name by writer Chris Bocher, who pretty much named her after a Palestine hijacker named Leela Khalid. Leela was originally supposed to appear in Lego Polis, the fourth Doctor's last episode, but Louise Jameson was unavailable. <laughs> she was too busy killing! LOL! <laughs> no, I think she was in a play. <laughs> she was killing in a play! <laughs> pretty interesting one that I like and I love it when actresses fight for their characters. So, Louise Jameson felt that the Doctor Who writers sometimes neglected to write Leela as an individual and instead was writing her as a stereotypical Doctor Who girl. And for example, in the Underworld, the script originally had Leela screaming when overwhelmed by a poisonous gas. But Jameson decided uh, to decline it and pointed out that it was not in character for the warrior Leela. That makes sense. <laughs> she needed to kill people, not be cast! <laughs> in fact, Leela screamed only once in the television stories, and that was in the Talons of Wing Chang. And that was when her leg was being gnawed by a giant rat, which Jameson thought was justified. Makes sense, yeah. Leela ranks as one of the most violent companions, originally threatening or using deadly force against humanoids. Uh, Leela remains, to date, the only TV companion to be shown killing on a frequent basis. <laughs> Now we're on to trivia about Louise Jameson, who played Leela herself. And this is an interesting one that I thought should be noted, especially because, well, it's pretty obvious at times, too. So, although Jameson's eyes were pretty much a natural blue, she was forced to wear red contacts to make them brown. And However, the, the contact lenses would severely blind her and limit her, vin her vision, pretty much. And um, she kept, you know, convincing the writers, please don't make me wear them, kind of thing. Can you write a story about where Leela has her eye color change? And that ended up happening. Uh, that happened in The Horror of Fang Rock, where they explained to it uh, that she suffered a pigment dispersal and her eyes turned blue after viewing the explosion of a routine ship. Her eyes were originally red. She sees red like a Terminator. Lol. No, her eyes were brown. Like me. Her eyes are like chocolate. Chocolate balls of death. Yeah. You do know, though, 
in order to make a blue person's eyes brown, you have to make you have to add some red in, into it to actually make it brown. Because their like their eyes are so light and blue. But he'd rabbits have red eyes. Red eyes are death, like Lila, and she kills, and she kills bunnies. <laughs> There's a little Leela in us all. I took care of him. Here's another interesting bit of trivia that I found out. Tom Baker actually disliked Leela's character concept because he thought her to be too violent. Just like the doctor. Wow. Um, so here's what it says. Jameson reports that he was cold to her the first several stories they did together. Eventually, during the filming, of Horrifying Rock, she insisted on multiple takes of a scene in which he repeatedly entered the scene early, thereby upstaging her. Uh, the, this incident appears to have increased Baker's respect for her, and their working relationship substantially improved thereafter. Aside from feeling that Baker was competitive, Jameson suffered from some fever in the middle of her time on the show, as well she was allergic to dry ice. Another piece of interesting trivia I found out was that writer Gra Grams William offered to rewrite the end of the Invasion of Time for Leela to stay, but Jameson declined it because she was already committed to a play. And thereafter, Jameson was also offered to return for a whole season when Peter Davison became the Doctor to ease the transition, but she only wanted to do one story. And Leela was thereafter written into Ark of Infinity, which is an episode I love. Uh, but Jameson proved unavailable for the role, so some of her parts were assigned to Nessa instead. Damn it! However, Leela was mentioned in the Ark of Infinity by the Doctor himself. And he pretty much asked, How is Leela doing? And a Time Lord said, She's doing well. And then the Doctor said, I'm so sad to have missed her wedding. I hope it was well. Aside from her job as an actress, Jameson also works as a teacher of drama, directing youth productions of Shakespeare for local festivals. That's pretty cool. But not only that, she's also still relatively active in the Doctor Who community nowadays, attending many conventions and, well, obviously Big Finish audios. So Leela was known for wearing, you could say, skimpy leather outfits, kind of like a cave woman style. Um, and it was something that the writers would joke about all the time, saying, oh yeah, the dads are tuning into the show just for Leela, who's, all, you know, just skimpy and everything. And I think even Louise Jameson felt a little uncomfortable dressed like that, but that was her character. So, yeah. <laughs> but hey, we have action figures uh, of Leela, even now. Yeah, I really want to cosplay her face of evil outfit. That one's just really iconic and yeah. So if you want more Leela, be sure to check out the Big Finish audiobooks. She's in with Tom Baker and Leela Ward. And still continuing on to this day. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content. And the next companion we will be covering is Ace from the Seventh Doctor's Era. Hold on, Professor. I've got it from here. <laughs>